This is Adi Sharma Solution Class 11 Chapter 30 Derivatives Exercise is 30.1 Now all these questions we have to use the first principle to solve this question. So whenever we have a function fx and we need to find out f dash c that is the derivative at some point c. So what we will do for f dash c or f dash x only then fx plus h minus fx by h, h is very small and this limit is h tends to 0. So what we will do here, the function given in this question, this is the first question here, this is given as y equals 3x or fx equals 3x. This is the function being given to you. Now if we want to find out f dash c, here c is 2, f dash 2. So, wherever you find x, put x plus h, fx plus h. So, x plus h here. Now, fx, direct function you have to use. Whichever function is given, just put it here, 3x. And then divided by h and limit. Apply the limit. Limit h tends to 0. So, what is uh, here? 3x plus 3h minus 3x. Now, 3x, 3x gets cancelled. Only 3h remains. Denominator, we already had h. h, h cancels. So, limit if you apply because it is a constant, so it will always be 3. So, 3 is the answer here. This is question number 2 and we have to find the derivative of fx x square minus 2. This is NCERT question, NCERT question. fx has x square minus 2, same thing we are going to do. fx plus h minus fx by h. So, wherever you find x, just put x plus h. So, x plus h f 10 plus h, x plus h means 10 plus h because we have to find out the derivative at x equals 10, f dash 10 we are interested in. So, we will write f x plus h that is f 10 plus h, this 10 plus h whole square minus 2 and then minus, this is 10 plus h whole square minus 2 minus, now this is simply put x equals 10, so 10 square minus 2, so x square minus uh, 2 and in place of x we are going to replace it with h with 10. So 10 plus h whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 10 square plus h square plus 2 into 10 that is 20h minus 2. This x we are replacing 10 square so 10 square 100 plus 2. If you see this 100 and 10 square we can cancel it. 2 2 also gets cancelled. You have h square plus 20h. Now h square plus 20h I am taking h common. h plus 20 remains. Uh, if you remember we already have a h in the denominator as I suggested you earlier limit h tends to 0 is also there. So, we have limit h tends to 0. Now, this h h gets cancelled h plus 20. Now, h is 0. So, 20. 20 is the answer here. This is question number 3. fx is equal to 99x and this is also NCERT question. So, if you are doing R.D. Sharma, R.S. Agrawal, you don't have to do it because all the NCERT questions are being covered here. So, fx is given as 99x and the c that is the point which derivative have to be evaluated is 100, is 100. So, what we will do simply just put x as x plus h first, fx plus h. So, 99x plus h minus this fx that is 99x, just put 99x and divided by h limit h tends to 0. Okay. So, 99x 99x plus 99h minus 99x and divided by just have this cancel numerator just cancel it already we have a h in the denominator h gets cancelled so limit h tends to 0 since it is only 99 remaining so the answer will be 99 here question number 4 we are taking this is also NCERT question so the this derivative is fx equals to x. Please remember this question because this is going to come again just now. So, fx equals x at x equal to 1 we have to find f dash. So, f dash 1 we are interested in. So, fx plus h minus fx by h. So, in place of x you can put x plus h and you have to put this x as 1. So, x plus h that is 1 plus h minus fx that is simply x where you have to put 1. Just put 1 and then you have h. So, limit h tends to 0, 1 plus h minus 1 is 1, 1 gets cancelled, only h remains and denominator you have h, h, h gets cancelled, you have only 1. So, when you apply the limit, it does not matter because it is a constant. So, 1 is the answer here. This is this question is going to come again. 
Now question number five. Fx equals cos x at x equals zero. So this question is also going to come again. So pay attention, please. Fx equals cos x. F dash zero. We have to find out. So x is zero. So cos x plus h that is zero plus h minus same function cos x cos x so cos zero divided by h and then limit h is tending to zero so cos h minus cos zero by h and cos zero is what cos zero is one so cos h minus one and let us take the numerator first and then we we'll go to the denominator. So minus, I am taking minus common, so minus can be inside and plus inside. So this is basically minus 1 minus cos h. Why I did that? Because I, 1 minus cos h is 2 sin square h by 2. And since we have h in the denominator, you need one more h. Just assume that this limit is all, always there. I am not writing it everywhere. So we need sin square h by 2. Basically we need h square by 4 because it is square of h by 2. So h square by 4 we, uh, we need in the denominator. So just multiply by h so you have to have a h in the numerator also and we since we have 4 in the denominator you need 4 in the numerator also but this is numerator of the denominator so this is h square by 4 this is also sin square h by 2 so this becomes sin h by 2 by h by 2 whole square and you can apply the limit this is going to be 1 basically it is sin h by 2 h by 2 whole square and we know sin theta by theta is 1 when we apply limit so this goes now you have minus 2 by 4 into h but if you see h is in the numerator and if you apply the limit h is going to be 0. So whatever whatever is there minus 2 or 4 it doesn't matter now because h is already there and we apply the limit h tends to 0 so this is going to be 0 everything will be 0. So 0 is going to be the answer. Next is uh, question number uh, 6 that is 10x. So same thing we are going to do tan x plus h because we have to find out at x equals 0. So this x is going to be 0. So when we place x plus h, x is replaced by 0. A tan 0 plus h minus tan 0 because tan x it is divided by h. Now apply limit. Limit h tends to 0. So tan h minus tan 0 by h. Okay. So tan 0 is what? Tan 0 is 0. Tan 0 is 0. So tan h by h. So we have limit h tends to 0, 10 h by h. So 10 h by h is what? It's going to be 1. Sin theta by theta is 1. So 10 theta by theta is 1. 1 is the answer. Now this is question number 7. And there are 4 questions here, 4 parts here. And all the questions we have already done in the previous, just now we have already done. So this is just a repetition. So, the derivative of the following functions at the indicated points we have to find out. So, sin x is what? Sin x, x at pi, pi by 2 we have to find out. So, sin pi by 2 plus x plus x that is pi by 2 plus h minus sin pi by 2 sin x, x is to be put pi by 2 by h. So, sin x plus h minus sin x by h, x we have replaced by pi by 2. Now, sin 90 plus theta is what? Add sugar to coffee, all school to college. So, this is sin 90. Sin 90 plus sin 90 is always uh, cos, but what whether it is positive or negative, it is positive because second quadrant it is positive. So cos h minus sin 90 is 1, cos h minus h by h. Same thing we have done just now. So just take minus common outside, you will get 1 minus cos h here. 1 minus cos h is 2 sin square h by 2. 2 sin square h by 2, you have a negative outside h. Now you need h, h square by 4. So you need to multiply h and divide it by 4 and multiply it by 4. So this hall is sin h by 2 by h by 2 whole square and you can apply the limit. Limit h tends to 0 for sin theta by theta is going to be 1. So this also, this goes, you are only left with minus 2 by 4 into h. So when you apply limit h tends to 0, this is going to be 1 to total 1. This is h is going to be 0. So whatever is the constant, it doesn't matter because it is 0. 0 into anything is 0. 0 is the answer. This question we have already done, a typo. That is why I said that this is going to come again. Now this question, uh, the second one, this is also the question we have just done, fourth question it was of NCRT. So y is x here, fx is x here. So how to do, deal with this? Okay, x equals 1. So x plus h minus x by h, 
this is what you have to do x plus h minus x by h and limit h tends to 0. So x x gets cancelled, h h also cancelled, cancelled only 1 will remain. So even if you apply the limit, it doesn't matter, better, it will always be 1. Okay, third, third question. So now this is 2 cos x at x equals pi by 2. There are multiple questions which are repeated just to increase uh, the confidence in you. So 2 cos x at x equal pi by 2. The fx is this one. Now at x equals pi by 2 we have to find out. At, at, at x equals pi by 2. So 2 cos x plus h that is pi by 2 plus h minus 2 cos x divided by h. 2 cos x we have to put pi by 2. Now you can take 2 common first. Just take 2 common from both and we will deal with it later. H is all in the denominator as per first principle. H is tending to 0. Now cos uh, 90 plus theta. Cos 90 plus anything will be sine. But whether positive or negative. Because sine is only in second quadrant only sine is positive. Cos will be negative. So it will be negative. Minus sine H. Minus cos 90 is what? 0. Cos 90 is 0. So just put at 0. So minus sine H and 2 was already there. And H is also in the denominator. So minus 2 and h is there. Okay. Now sin h by h is what? 1. Limit h tends to 0. Sin h by h is 1. So minus 2 into 1. So minus 2 it is. Now the fourth one. Sin 2x at x equals pi by 2. Sin 2x at x equals pi by 2. So x equals pi by 2. x is sin 2x plus h and pi by 2 plus h and then x simply just put x as a pi by 2 plus h in the first one and then second one just put it like this we will replace it by x equals pi by 2 so sine into pi by 2 plus h so sine 2 into pi by 2 is pi only and this is 2h not pi by 2 this is 2h i'm just going to take change it it's 2h so add sugar to coffee also go to college now sine 180 plus theta tan is only positive it's going to be sine will be negative so just put minus sine and this is sine 180 plus uh, theta so 180 plus theta and it is going to be 2h so it will be minus sine 2h negative because it is in the third quadrant and since we have 2h as the theta sine minus sine 2h sine 2 into pi by 2 x replaced by pi by 2 2 2 cancels sine 180 is 0 sine 0 is 0 sine 180 is 0 sine 360 is 0 so sine 0 is 0 so just you know you don't have to worry about this now and h is already there so you are left with limit h tends to 0 minus sin 2h by h okay so what do we do minus sin 2h and this replace just forget about that 2h divided by 2 multiplied by 2 this is going to be limit sin theta by theta and this is going to be 1 and you have 2 negative 2 so negative 2 you are getting this is the final answer Okay, this is about this exercise. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.